thanks, uh, <coughs> many thanks for the introduction and uh, certainly uh, I'm very grateful that uh, organizing committee invited me in this nice place. I'm first time here uh, in uh, Yerevan and it is a great pleasure certainly. Uh, I will speak uh, about uh, operator pencils and operator equations in, in Hilbert space. Uh, you know that uh, uh, the simplest operator equation in Hilbert and Banach spaces uh, is uh, the equation uh, do we have chalk? Ah, we have. Uh, is the equation u prime t equals a u of t, where a is a linear operator, and even uh, certainly to this uh, we can uh, associate with this problem um, lambda uh, lambda uh, x equals a x uh, spectral formula uh, for the operator a and there is you everybody is acquainted with uh, um, uh, this very nice theory uh, of semi, semi group theory in Hilbert and Banach spaces uh, even in this Simple case, we have uh, very nice theory. Uh, situation is much more complicated if we have not linear, uh, uh, not the first order equation in, the, in Hilbert or Banach space, but uh, second or uh, high order equation. Uh, then we come to uh, spectral problems which uh, depend non-linearly on spectral parameter and uh, uh, situation uh, uh, the, there appear a variety of problems uh, which uh, uh, are not easy to solve. Um, as non-trivial but very simple example, uh, I'd like to consider wave equation with damping. Uh, you see here we have a second derivative with respect to time uh, first and uh, 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 differentiation with respect to x uh, I will consider as operator. Uh, operator I will define a little bit later. Uh, uh, it will be just Sturm will operator. Um, to solve this problem, uh, in this case we have a hyperbolic problem, uh, we certainly should uh, put initial data, uh, this initial data correspond to Cauchy problem, uh, so two f initial functions uh, for t equals, uh, uh, for, for the initial time, zero. Uh, uh, so Laplace transform or uh, usual separation of variable, but it, it it is the same that if we take Laplace transform from this equation, we come to this um, uh, to this problem. Uh, actually, it was it would be better if I put uh, differentiation second derivative here. Uh, uh, but in this case, uh, I just uh, let me let me first um, reduce this particular problem which I uh, talked about um, uh, to abstract form. You see, uh, in abstract uh, setting, it will, uh, we will come to the operator pencil where B is multiplication operator. C is sturm liouville operator, and I is identity. Um, um, I like uh, uh, to say that actually 
uh, this topic, uh, Terata pencils and Tigran knows and Armen uh, knows, uh, it was uh, maybe the main topic at Kostichenko seminar in Moscow, Kostichenko and Levitan seminar in Moscow. And uh, it was um, very uh, the, uh, it was problems which many people was occupied. Uh, and uh, mm, in the West, I mean in the West Europe and in the United States, uh, mostly mm, matrix cases were considered. Uh, it was uh, carried out by Goldberg, uh, Goldberg, Kasshook, uh, Ran, and uh, many uh, other mathematicians. Uh, they uh, mostly worked in, in uh, uh, when operators are uh, matrices in final dimensional case. Um, uh, but in our, in the former Soviet Union, uh, mm, uh, this topic was initiated by uh, mm, Mark Crane. Um, <coughs> Mm. Heinz Langer. Uh, Heinz Langer also worked with Grain in Odessa, and uh, many, many other uh, mathematicians in, in Ukraine, in Kiev, in Lviv. And uh, um, uh, nowadays, it, it is not. Uh, this topic is not popular in Russia, but in uh, Germany, in the UK, uh, it's still in Holland. It's still popular. Uh, um, why? Uh, recently, I began to be uh, my interest recovery to this topic, and I uh, just uh, um, would like to tell uh, some uh, results about some results which uh, I did obtain, but uh, it's not written uh, down and it is not uh, published yet. Uh, well, uh, it's already prepared for publication, but not published. Um, uh, this interest was recovered uh, when I paid attention to papers of Borisov and Freitas in Journal of Functional Analysis and Gestezi and Holden in Journal of Differential Equation. Uh, <clears throat> actually, uh, they proved uh, different results, but I, uh, it was clear for me that uh, my knowledge uh, from 80s, uh, from 80s, uh, allows me to uh, to say more, to say more, and uh, it is well known semi-group approach to this uh, to problem, which I uh, can discuss from the very beginning to the wave uh, equation with damping. Uh, one can uh, one can consider energy fun functional, and in the uh, if B is uh, positive, you uh, you remember that damping means that uh, um, operator multiplication by B, uh, the function B was positive. So. Um, uh, uh, excuse me, it was negative. And uh, differentiation, uh, the energy uh, leads to this inequality. Uh, to consider this problem in abstract form, uh, let me introduce interpolation spaces. Uh, 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 the original space H is uh, usual L2. Uh, H2, H2 this is sub index is uh, Soblev space uh, W2. Uh, D means directly boundary conditions. Uh, uh, so this is a uh, very good uh, space, certainly. And uh, this is the main of definition of the Sturm Level operator, which we uh, mm, uh, 
uh, which I pointed out before. Um, uh, interpolation spaces uh, are defined uh, for zeta between 0 and 1. And uh, um, to the spectral problem for operator pencil L of lambda, we associate the operator in the space H0, H1 plus H. Mm, and um, uh, it, turns, uh, it turns out that this operator T0, which is defined, uh, which is the matrix of paper operator defined, uh, in, defined in this space, uh, with domain uh, first coordinate uh, belongs to DC, this is Sobolev space, H, uh, H, uh, X2 belongs, the second coordinate be belongs to domain of B. So this is well defined operator. And um, one can check very easily that the eigenpair. Lambda k is the eigenvector, and u k is the eigen. Uh, lambda k is eigen uh, value, and u k is the eigen uh, vector. Uh, mm, uh, there is correspondence between uh, lamb, uh, between uh, uh, this pair for operator pencil and for operator. Uh, for operator T naught, which is constructed uh, at the previous page. And UK, uh, uh, <laughs> these vectors are called uh, Keldish derivative chains. Uh, mm, uh, mm, Pencils of uh, the form which I consider actually was uh, were considered in many papers. Maybe uh, one can uh, look uh, at the paper of uh, Gestetze and Holden, at Denis of uh, Freitas, uh, a big uh, bibliography, and um, uh, many conditions. But uh, I think. Uh, um, I'd like to formulate the result which we, I uh, uh, obtained with my former student, uh, Rostislav Hrinev, in uh, 2004. Uh, the operator T0, which uh, uh, I remind, T0 is defined uh, like that. Uh, uh, admits a closure if and only if we have this in uh, D is submitted to C in sense of quadratic forms and D or B uh, intersection, intersection which H1 is dense in H1. Actually, <laughs> you understand that uh, if operator does not admit a closure, it has no resilience. Uh, we cannot work with it. So this is uh, this theorem is um, uh, uh, how to this, the main starting point uh, for um, uh, for this problem. But it, uh, fortunately, for uh, for concrete problems, these conditions certainly always uh, satisfied are satisfied and uh, mm, I will not discuss about previous result but uh, mm, uh, I will a little bit later I will uh, say about names uh, I will mention names which uh, uh, certainly discussed before uh, uh, the results uh, which gave uh, sufficient conditions for, uh, for closability. Uh, this is necessary and sufficient. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it's very, it's very uh, illustrative because actually uh, this uh, problem with um, uh, damping uh, which I uh, mentioned from the very beginning. Uh, 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 instead, um, operator B was multiplication. 
uh, this theorem gives the following result that uh, um, B is uh, operator L not uh, T not admits a, uh, a closure if and only if uh, uh, B is bound uh, B is bounded from H1 to H minus one. You know that we associate the scale of Hilbert spaces with uh, operator C. C is the main operator. Uh, we construct uh, the scale of Hilbert spaces, and uh, uh, this inequality, uh, this inequality is equivalent, is equivalent. Is, excuse me, that B is bounded from H1 to H minus one, and uh, if we work with multiplication, that it means that uh, B of X must be multiplier from uh, W1 uh, D with directly bound condition to minus W1. Uh, Sobolev spaces with negative uh, with negative indices are well defined. It is uh, uh, if and only if uh, if on, on only if uh, if U of T uh, is a distribution such that uh, it's uh, primitive. Mm, uh, uh, primitive belongs to L2. So this, uh, uh, what does it mean? It means that uh, actually in uh, all previous papers, uh, B uh, was uh, just bounded to create uh, and uh, belongs to L infinity. We can admit that B is uh, has uh, uh, singularity of order less than three five. A uh, B can be delta function and uh, so on. Uh, it can be uh, uh, just uh, any function from this space. Uh, such that its primitive belongs to it too. Um, then, uh, certainly, in, the uh, in, uh, uh, in particular, in, uh, in the paper of Gestadi and Holden, was proved the following, um, uh, the following uh, result. Actually, uh, actually, uh, how to say it softly, uh, certainly, very often, uh, uh, mathematicians uh, don't know all the history, and uh, uh, these results for uh, was proved by myself in eighty three in by Shubov, Marian Shubov from the United States in nineties. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, mm, uh, they uh, obtained the following. Let B is uh, self adjoint and bounded. Then, uh, eigenvectors of UK, uh, I remind that UK are uh, these functions. Uh, you know that if you solve Cauchy problem for the second order equation, then uh, you have uh, two initial data, and then you uh, must have expansion, expansion with respect to uh, these vectors. Uh, and uh, form a risk basis in this page H, H not, which is uh, which was defined as a sum of H1 and H. Uh, this is energy space. Energy space. Uh, um, uh, by the way, it's not... Uh, 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 it is not uh, also a trivial problem when B is bounded from H1 to H minus 1. It turns out, it was proved by this, this, uh, this my student Belayev, that uh, uh, 
B is bounded from H1 to H1. It is multiplier from this space to this one, if and only if B belongs to this space. Um, so, uh, uh, actually, this theorem about this basis property or unconditional basis property, um, one can prove, uh, at least I know, <laughs> at the moment, three, <laughs> three ways to prove uh, this result. And uh, one of the uh, possible um, uh, ways uh, to prove this result as perturbation theory for um, of self joint or normal operator. Um, I wrote a long paper about this uh, perturbation theory. It was published in uh, Russian uh, Journal of uh, Russian Mathematical Surveys in 1916. And, uh, mm, mm, and uh, what is uh, the idea? The idea is the following, that if you have uh, operator T, uh, which has this form C minus phi minus D, uh, this is skew-symmetric operator. This is skew in, in, in any energy space H1 plus H. One can prove this very easily that in this space it skew symmetry operator. It means uh, I uh, times uh, this uh, um, of diagonal operator is self adjoint. Uh, but B is perturbation. And if B, for example, uh, if the um, order of this operator, for example, equals one, but in this case, the, it it, it is easy to calculate that the eigenvalues of this operator uh, uh, grow as k, k to the power 1. Um, and uh, if b is bounded, uh, then by uh, perturbation theory, it is general result. If you have self adjoint operator or skew, uh, self adjoint uh, then uh, mm, and if its order equals alpha and alpha minus one is uh, mm, less or equal one minus p where p is the order of subordination uh, for bounded operator p is equal to zero uh, and then we have uh, all uh, there is basic property. So all these theorems follow from general results uh, coming from perturbation theory. And perturbation theory is, um, how to say, uh, it takes origin from the papers of Keldish in 1951, and it was developed uh, by Mark Crane, Goldberg, Markus Matsaev, a lot of papers, a lot of uh, some. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> maybe it's not modest, no, but uh, recently uh, the interest to this uh, theory, I mean to perturbation theory, was um, recovered by Boris Mityagin, and uh, he brought one very uh, uh, particular but important theorem uh, for operator if we have Schrodinger uh, um, operator plus x square y harmonic oscillator on the whole line. And if q uh, operator and if q a potential is from L2, then uh, the uh, eigenfunction, Q complex function, complex function from L2, then uh, this uh, operator has a uh, uh, system of eigenfunctions which form uncondition unconditional basis. Um, uh, uh, this result by Mityagin. Uh, initiated uh, my own works in this direction for 
as for abstract case. And uh, in particular, uh, um, I come to some results which uh, I called uh, local uh, uh, condition of uh, global subordination, I ch uh, changed to local su uh, subordination. It means, uh, what does it mean? Uh, in particular, for this theory, uh, for this case, uh, I can uh, prove uh, results of unconditional basis uh, not only for Q, but uh, it belonging to L infinity, but for Q belonging to L2. Uh, no other methods do not uh, uh, allow to obtain such kind of results. So actually this topic has very long history. Um, Third, uh, um, I uh, let me just uh, let me just uh, mm, mm, tell el almost the same, but uh, uh, for a little bit more general pencils. F uh, here is. Uni uh, uh, uniformly positive variator and bounded C is uh, just uh, uniformly positive. Um, uh, in, uh, in this case, if we have this uh, subordination in sense of quadratic forms, uh, but B is not uh, any more uh, uh, positive variator. Uh, like it was before in the problem with uh, wave equation. B is only accretive operator. Uh, mm, uh, such pencils we call uh, hyperbolic pencils. Uh, why? Uh, because as before, we associate operator C square from model. Uh, C is here, C is positive, so modulus I, uh, I can omit, omit here. Uh, as before, we can start an energy space. And uh, then uh, the equation, the equation which is uh, uh, lambda is uh, changed to d uh, of dt, uh, then this equation uh, has uh, a unique solution. Uh, which is uh, strongly continuous uh, for all t, including zero, zero, and we have this estimate. Uh, but if, in addition, the operator d is sectorial, what does it mean, sectorial? It means that numerical range of the operator d, uh, uh, before it was positive operator, but if numerical range uh, lie in some sector, um, uh, 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 which is uh, the angle is less than pi, such operator is called sectorial. Uh, then we have the same, uh, the same uh, result, but actually. It was not uh, new. Uh, uh, new is only formally because I, instead of uh, identity operator, I put here f, which is uh, positive. But what is new that if uh, uh, if uh, uh, ah, um, uh, that if operator b is sectorial and. Uh, B is uniformly, uh, real B is uniformly, real B of x, x uh, greater or equal epsilon x, x for some epsilon more. Uh, then the semi group which we have here is exponentially, exponentially stable. Actually, this is not a trivial result, because one uh, uh, can expect that uh, here we can take 
uh, uh, epsilon. Uh, if we have this uh, inequality, then uh, we have uh, stability. Uh, ah, okay, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, How One minute or two? Sure. Minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I just uh, uh, would like to say that um, uh, actually um, uh, I had to mention uh, these names and in particular Valerio Sirich Kazvov also uh, in, for the matrix case. Um, uh, it can be degeneralized, uh, these results can be generalized not only for positive F and C, uh, but uh, also for operators which are semi bounded be below. In this case, we come to uh, consideration not in Hilbert space, but in Pantragin space, and uh, we can have work with indefinite metric. That's all. Thank you very much. Pardon? F. You see, usually, actually, к сожалению, тряпочки нету, да? А, вот, 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 из них. F lambda square plus D lambda plus C. Uh, before I spoke, and actually almost all works in this case, this operator are uh, positive. I can work with non-positive but semi bounded below. Uh, uh, but in this case, F, F is operator. This uh, what you ask me. What, what? Epsilon. Epsilon, any positive, uh, any fixed positive number. Well, if we. What is this one? Epsilon parenthesis? Does not depend on x, x element in H, in the Hilbert space. He was asking whether it was a function or not. Okay. Uh, uh, x is element, any x belonging, belonging to the domain of D. Any element from the domain of operator, and uh, uh, I call operator D is uniformly accretive. If X this X inequality X holds, yes. pardon? So X, 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 X is a product. Yes. 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 Da. No, no, no. It's scalar product. X uh, is scalar product. Uh, if I understand correctly, about the, if I understand correctly about the operator B in the basic case, uh, it is the point-wise multiplication by certain function B over case. But uh, in general, uh, the operator B uh, has not necessary to be of that form. Certainly. Uh, so you mean I am restricted in time, but a lot of problems. I can uh, give uh, a lot of examples. B can be second derivative, first derivative, even fourth derivative, if we consider oscillations of, for the beam equation. Uh, damping can be of different nature. Multiplication, differentiation, and uh, uh, in uh, uh, concrete problems, uh, we usually uh, have with multiplication, with the first derivative, with the second derivative, uh, and even with the fourth derivative. So B, uh, B is operator, and this is condition, condition uh, uh, subordination in sense of quadratic forms. It's the most general. It, it, it is uh, suitable for all pro concrete problems which uh, I know. Okay, so more time, one more question. Let's